Where do you start? If I would look for a Michel drink in America, where have I, where can I find such things? Well, you're going to want to start here. If you're, if you are in the Netherlands, you want to start locally. So I would suggest that you look for the immigration lists that were compiled here. Um, I know there are separate lists for Winterswijk, Alten, Bredevoort, Dinksperlo that list all of the immigrants, the year they left. Uh, it gives their birth date, uh, their address, in some cases, the name of the farm they lived on. So if there are numerous men with the same name, the birth dates and the name of the farm can be helpful. Uh, there are records in the Gelders Archiv, in openarchive.nl, in Vivasv. Um, here at ECAL, there are immigration lists at the Documentation Center in Alton. So there are many places that you can look. Here at ECAL, there are also these wonderful books that were written by or compiled by Robert Sveringa. 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 And in his book, there are all the people. Yes. In, that went to America. Yes, it says only Dutch households. So he compiled the lists of, from immigration lists, from ship passenger lists, and then in the United States, the census record for 1850, 1860, 1870, 1880. So it would tell you the name of the father and the name of the mother and all the children in the census records. The ship passenger lists are fabulous because it tells you when they left the Netherlands, where they arrived, what ship they were on, which means you can then also look for the ship passenger list to see if there were other people from your village who were on the same ship with that person. That will help you find them in the, in, in the United States if you have that immigration information. But then you have you need to find what Dutch community in the United States they went to because depending on the year they immigrated, it could be many different places. Um, some of that you can find in Sveringa's books because it will tell you where they went, where they went either um, in the ship passenger list or then you match it with the census record. It will at least tell you the state and hopefully the county. Then you can transfer your research to the United States. Um, Family Search is a very large website run by the Mormon Church. It's the largest amount of genealogical information in the world. So they have digitized Dutch records as well as the US records, but then you can start to put the pieces together of do I need to find them in Michigan or Iowa or Nebraska or New, you know, New Jersey, wherever it might be? And then you can go to the, um, the archives or the State Historical Society for those places um, in order to look for more information. But I also tell people to not forget simple things like Google. If you're uncertain, Google the name. Because if, if that name appears in an archival record, it may come up. If someone has their own website with information about that family, the name will come up. So you can scroll through, at least it will give you a lead to finding more information about where in the US they are. Then you can look for more records. Om het allemaal duidelijk te maken, zoals in mijn achtergrond.nl. Dat komt Amerika in de achterhoek, je fijn bij elkaar. 
Het is zo simpel. Gewoon opzoeken. <laughs> Thank you.